2014 was certainly a fantastic year for film, and while I wasn't able to watch every single film released this year, of the 70-something I managed to see, it was hard to condense a list down to just my favorite 10, so here are three honorable mentions. First off, we have Bennett Miller's Foxcatcher, which based on the true story, really manages to delve in to the twisted psychology of some characters and the ultimate ambition and passion of other characters, delivering three of the year's best performances. Mark. Albeit slow in pace, it manages to deliver an incredibly intense experience. Next off, we have Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, which certainly delivers something unique to say the least with regards to the one-shot perspective that the entire film decides to take on. Something incredibly ambitious, once again filled with incredibly energetic and fantastic performances in a film really delving into the theater world of New York. Let's make a comeback. That's what I'm talking about. You're a bird man. You are a god. And finally, 22 Jump Street. As many of the franchise films really managed to deliver this year, surprisingly, 22 Jump Street was certainly one of them, delivering on almost all fronts, being once again self-aware like the original, but embracing the idea of repetitiveness and cliches and merely recycling what might have been successful in the first one without actually doing so, but being on that fine line wherein Phil Lord and Chris Miller deliver once again an incredibly intelligent comedy. No, you're leading in again! I didn't want to kiss! This is the most uncomfortable fist fight I've ever been in! Coming to number 10, we have X-Men Days of Future Past. Despite being the seventh film in the franchise, it still managed to come across as fresh, delivering something new with regards to the depth of the characters. While I'm a huge fan of the younger cast, really combining the younger and older cast together was done well by the original director of the franchise, Brian Singer. It's good to take the two of us side by side at the time when we couldn't be further apart. And coming to number 9 is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, a film that has so much to say about society and humanity in general today, and at the same time is ultimately a power conflict between Koba and Caesar, leading to something so much grander and ultimately striking you emotionally and being an incredibly daring film to say the least, especially including those opening 15 minutes. War has already begun. Coming in number 8 is Enemy starring Jake Gyllenhaal in a film that has something so simplistic of a man meeting his doppelganger but really makes it have such a dark turn and becomes so intense and almost feel real after a point turning into something incredibly horrific in what I believe is one of the most thrilling films of the year. Who are you? What's wrong? You're crazy. I'm crazy! Coming in at number 7 is Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel, certainly one of the more unorthodox films I've seen all year, with an incredible amount of nicheness that really stood out to me with regards to the perfectionism that Wes Anderson seems to strive for in every single shot. Ultimately, it's a world that is so unique and well-realized, with each character popping on screen and the dialogue being so utterly fantastic, leading to one of the funniest films of the year. <laughs> Did you just throw my cat out the window? And at number six is Nightcrawler, once again with a stellar performance by Jake Gyllenhaal, delivering an incredibly dark turn on a man's twisted ambition, and yet another interesting look at the media itself in terms of what they want to propagate to the public, leading to what I believe is the most intense experience of the year. What's something people can't turn away from? 911, what's your emergency? And now for the top five. Coming to number five is the Lego movie, witnessing a world that really managed to come to fruition in almost the most beautiful way and was so well realized by Phil Lord and Chris Miller was certainly one of the standout points of the Lego movie itself. And the fact is, there was a perfect blend almost of humor and emotion, creating this incredibly thrilling journey of the character Emmett, really realizing himself and almost coming of age, if you will, leading to what is the most heartfelt experience of the year. I hate to tell you this, but uh, I don't think you're supposed to be here. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to report you. <laughs> Coming in at number 4 is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, wherein James Gunn really managed to create an eclectic set of characters in this incredibly unique world with a slick edge of humor, almost bringing a mammoth task and really making it come to fruition, something so unexpected to me, something so different and something that is unlike anything I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. 
in at number three is Marvel's Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Being a huge fan of Captain America, really loving his character, witnessing now him being the man out of time, him having to trust absolutely no one in this film, and what is a different take on a general superhero film, bringing about far greater political themes and being much grander than what it could have been as a basic superhero film. It led to being a great film and a fantastic journey with an incredible amount of maturity to say the least. How do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. Coming in at number two is David Fincher's Gone Girl, a film that takes a darkly comic turn with regards to both marriage and media, and at the same time is incredibly bizarre to say the least, but its bizarreness is almost justified with regards to its execution, and it really manages to deliver something that could have absolutely gone wrong, yet delivered so perfectly. Stay back, everybody, stay back. I did not kill my wife. I am not a murderer. And finally, my favorite film of 2014 coming in at number one is Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, an undoubtedly beautifully created and well-realized masterpiece showing me images that I never could have imagined were even possible to exist or were within the realm of reality, creating a beautiful story at the core of it with regards to a father-daughter relationship in this almost grandiose epic space adventure is something that I will certainly remember about 2014 as being the highlight of the year. And those were my 10 favorite films of the year. Be sure to comment below with regards to your thoughts and of course your top 10 films of 2014 and here's to another great year in cinema. Murph, I love you forever. <laughs>